This woman, this woman can't even drive a car in Saudi Arabia right now today. That's what your religion does. She needs to walk out with a chaperone. That's what, that's what your religion does. Amazing. Amazing. But what do you expect when your prophet is a pedophile? You make those Catholic priests seem normal if you believe Mohammed was a man of God. What a pervert he was. Wicked pervert. Here's a few infidels right here. What are you going to do? Don't you want your 72 virgins? What other religion tells you you get 72 virgins for actually killing an infidel? What other religion besides yours? Besides your wicked religion? Obey God. Don't touch me, woman. Don't touch me, man. Don't touch me. Don't mess with me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. This is why your religion keeps women like this, this quiet, right? This is why women right now in Saudi Arabia so. can't even drive a car. Is that oh, but you're loving. Is that They'd be chopping her so head so off so because of her attitude. That's so why. And it's not just a few. You it is your religion. Your, your religion. Your religion. Oh, yeah, like you respect them in Saudi Arabia today, huh? Your religion is respecting women today. Cover up or we kill you. That's what your religion says. No, you're not. No, you're not. You don't know your own religion, you liar. What a liar from the pit of hell. But then again, I expect that with a Muslim. We have all the security in America today because of your religion. You go to the airport because of your religion. Not a Buddhist, not a Hindu, it's your religion. That's why, wicked, filled with bloodshed, and you consider yourself a good man. Your prophet's a pedophile. Your prophet Muhammad is a pedophile. Are oh, you going to lay on that magic carpet and you think God's going to hear your prayer? You don't know the God of the Bible. Muslims who love their faith. Oh, you're Catholic?